Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with Grandmaster Mode enabled. Hagen 5 is Bloom Overrun. Bloom Corruption has finally reached level 5 and there is a flowering. Plant appears to be a lost cause. We must contain the corruption uh, growing below. Uh, we got a lot of warp uh, surge, 25%. Uh, then we got uh, Poxus and Necros and a lot of Blight World Champions and really start the ritual of destruction is what we need to do. We would uh, get a chaplain as a reward here and I'm still contemplating whether or not I want to not use passive war gear for an extra requisition but I think we're just going to do the mission the old-fashioned way. We got uh, Vakir with us. Uh, we got a pretty good team, um, at least I think so. And I think we should be fine in doing that. We got upgraded weapons, really, really a strong team overall. And you can see we also got quite a bit of willpower that we can uh, pour into uh, the enemies. The question is, will we have a lot of extraction? So is the extractor school needed? Who knows, we're going to find out. And what is clear is this is going to be a last ditch effort to stand here and just kill as many of them as possible i suppose and close the gate so join me when we're doing that for the first time this site reverberates with psychic torment the bloom grows unimpeded here screams echo through breaches in the warp hector this suffering is unbearable Center yourself, Inquisitor. My brothers will protect you. Your goal lies ahead. Okay. We got a Chaos Gate. And we just, first of all, need to reach it. And then potentially need to close this better it. better be worth it. Are you sure, Commander? Moving in. I like to fight in runes. They're typically cool spots. In terms of stratagems, we got armor, which is what I'm going to pull once the gate uh, is open. This here we'll keep as well. And let's see, I think we're keeping all of the stratagems. Yes, come on. Good, here we go. Boom starts to rise. I am here to serve. Uh, we could go through here, I suppose. Given that little distraction yes, from sir. the side. She can also dominate enemies. Uh, for how many turns, by the way? Two turns, okay. see who's coming through this gate four starters we're just going to put up overwatches they shall not pass no they shall not pass gandalf said it and the gray knights for sure can say that as well i will fire when ready good show me what you got foul spawn oh wow Okay, they got a lot. Okay, 
Hey, what the hell? They got something going for them. Selves. Who are you, big boy? A beast of Nurgle. Uh, melee attack. Target is immobilized within range 10. Tail swipe. Uh, spread attack. Uh, everybody's knocked back. Psychic blast. Targets a blast over an area of range 10 to deal 2 damage. Paralyzing vomit. Immobilized. Okay. Cannot be enraged, plagued, or knocked back. Uh, passive. Movement leaves a slimy trail. Auto 50% at the end of each turn. 50% chance to heal. Melee attack. Okay, this thing is grotesque. Grotesque. I'm busy. At your command. Your orders. Praise the Emperor. Got a slimy trail. Uh, it already delivers on that. Moving swiftly. I want to move yes, a bit commander. forward because every little bit that we're now moving forward, uh, once we killed it, we don't need to move afterwards. Alright, let's start with uh, that and support fire. That big thing would have been also cool as a domination target. But I'm sure Chaos Gate will offer us plenty of other alternatives. What is your will? I am his The beast yes. takes a lot of damage. Back, fiend. And we're going to give that sweet Why sweet XP to our librarian. Okay. At once. My blade is ever ready. Interestingly enough, we're n we have not been getting back our what AP. So that's the first time I'm busy. for that to happen. If you insist. Good. Ready to fire. Good, we're we're moving up. Let's see what's coming through this gate. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good, they cannot be crit. Fair enough. But that's not a big deal. I'm concentrating. Not a big deal at all. Frenzy, dominate, and banish automatically destroys. She has like 10 willpower. Back to the hell you crawled out of. Easy peasy. Your 
doctors. What? Unleash me. Stan moves in. Big fat lance to your belly. Yes. Uh, we're regaining a bit of uh, willpower. Good ending regeneration here. And how about our librarian? Ready to serve. Down. It's just going to slash this thing in pieces. One and uh, two. There we go. What is your will? It will be done. What is it? I am here to serve. Getting a couple of blue seeds for free. It seems that one of those gates appears every single time when we are moving. Potentially like here-ish now. Well, I suppose we gotta take these guys on. There is no point in not doing it. An autoloader skull would have been very helpful so far instead of uh, the extraction skull. Good time for reload into Overwatch. Alright. Show on. me what you got, beasts. <coughs> Sorry. Heretics approach. Cool. Shall we banish them or shall we dominate them? I mean, having one of these guys, nah, for now. We're just going to banish them. <coughs> wow. Good. Uh, let's hand over a little bit of this. And we're regaining some from <coughs> killing this thing. We slay the darkness. All right, one. Good, we're reloading. 
And uh, this here will hurt him. A lot. <laughs> Good, we're moving up. And we need to take this entrance here. I think that's the most logical entrance. <coughs> Warp search. No healing, okay, cool. We're fighting these guys, once we're done, we should be good to go. On the way. I will fire when ready. Inquisitor moves up. And we haven't even used any teleportation so far. Good. <coughs> yeah, they keep you in a constant combat. Good. Let's strike this guy. Face me. You will heal. And kill it. Terminated. I remember the first time. When we were meeting this guy, and I was like, wow, oh, that's really strong. Fall before me. Fall before. Praise the Emperor. If you insist. Alright, dominated means... will attack allies. <clears throat> I thought that I could control him. Well, that makes domination a little bit more shite than I thought it would be. Unleash me. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of Dominate. Got a bit of support fire. We'll at least get them further down. Good, bolters are ready. Listen, if these guys are just going to fight each other, cool. Ready. Don't mind that. Ready to serve. This come up.
Now it's time to go in <clears throat> and see what's happening. Silver Knights. Once uh, Vakia can initiate the ritual of destruction once begun, she's occupied and unable to move. Okay, cool. Uh, that is good to know. Now is the right time for a warp, a charge, teleport. As for her. We are definitely going to banish a few of these guys. For starters, give me that seed. And then give me that seed. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation, truly do. Foul servant to the plague god. Go back to your master. Good, fantastic. That is good. I mean, you cannot argue with uh, an ability that deals 36 points of damage. Uh, the banish is really good. What is your will? Good, remove some of the cover. I like that. Empty. Unleash me. If we let this one fall, new. No. Good, we're moving in. Mind you, now is a good time for our apothecary to say effort. Um, I need you to get movement speed and extra damage. Now is a fantastic time for that. It's time. In. Power. Good hit. Apothecary hits this. Four fire kills it. Good. Small thing gone. Another falls to the yes, knights of Move. Strike. Very good. Uh, that's minor, we're not going to do that. This on the other hand could be helpful. But we have support fire left over, so... Blessed ammunition defeated. At your command. Ready. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we need to <clears throat> overall reload quite a bit here. Disable his melee weapon. Give me the support fire. <clears throat> Almost done. Fantastic.
All right. Kill. Into a pretty decent hit. Yes, sir. Very good. Good, this guy here will take a little bit uh, of time to even get closer. I'm busy. I think. Having you dominated. This here is a demon, right? So it is in our power to banish. One and three. Yeah. Or do we want to start the ritual this turn? Uh, yes. We can we can kill those two. So Sure, let's start sure, the ritual. Commander. Knights, once I begin the ritual, you must keep the demon force at bay. If I fall, then all is lost. My blade is yours. Good, we're blinded. That's, of course, not so nice. Support fire. Uh, how many more bolts do we have? Yeah, enough. That's two. Ready to serve. Vengeance. Getting this one low. Unfortunately, that was not planned. Let's try again. Oh, we're weakened and blinded. <laughs> okay. That's a nasty combination. But there are still a couple of AOE damage options around. Down to one. Okay, I'm just trying to get our apothecary the kill justice 
Good, let's not cluster up, but... Um, instead spread out. There might be more enemies coming. We're reloading, just in case. Good. Complete the Ritual of Destruction. Six turns. Interesting. Well, guess what? We're going to give everybody the High Sanctuary. Unleash me. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to spill over into here. This Praise the Emperor. So, yeah, that is pretty poor. Uh, thanks to all of the weakening that we do have on us. What is your will? Yes, Commander. I would love to fight these guys actively. Hmm, at the moment the Librarian, besides Smite, doesn't really have a lot going for them. I am here to serve. All right, let's uh, go. <clears throat> you need to die, my dude. Range weapon is gone. What is your will? And... This will trigger support fire. We are reloading. At your command. Cool, listen. I still would do this. <clears throat> A little bit of fire never hurts. We are reloading. to take some cover. Cool. Move up. And whatever is going to join us there will need to face the wrath of the librarian. Justicar, of course, not Librarian. What am I saying? What am I saying? I can't misclassify a brother like that. Another. Another. 
<laughs> okay. Bring it on. If you bring Nurgle's gift, then bring it on. Here would be good but listen i mean you guys are fools to believe that i'll i'll just stay here you can do whatever you want and enjoy spending your next uh, round trying to get uh, into the cathedral whilst i'm chilling back here in full cover Cool. It's time. I think we're continuing to just kill, uh, free up the side here. Can't take out the seat. That's unfortunate. Good hit. Uh, play claw, not bad either. Stun will not uh, do anything. Good, we're just handing over <coughs> a couple of war points, a couple of match points to our DPS over here. Yes, Commander. And that'll be a kill. He will rise again. I could theoretically warp, but I don't feel like I want to do that. Instead, there is a 45% chance. To take off the arm of this guy. We'll take it. Didn't work out, but that's okay. Here, whoever is coming out of there will eat hot metal bolters. And you know what? We're moving up even a bit closer. I love that uh, armor stratagem. That's a good one. Interesting choice with a grenade. Wow, they got through 10 armor. That's not bad. Appreciate it. Does the ward bring? A couple of zones that are really not nice. Okay, gotta deal with those guys. 
Listen, at the moment we're still fine. Back into uh, the chapel, you go. Got to disrupt the servicer school. This guy is too far yeah. away to do anything, realistically. Which means we can ignore him for a round. I love the mobility. Interceptors are incredibly good. <clears throat> Standing ready. Ready to serve. What's up? Feel the bite of my sword. Range weapon needs to go, my dude. At your service. Sorry, Continuing with uh, some warp speed. Followed up uh, with a bit of uh, support fire. Your command. I am here to serve. Followed up by getting will points into our opponent carry. See them fall, brothers. Reloaded. Now the autoloader school would have been fantastic. Librarian moves up. Going to tank that side, so we're fine. Yes, Commander. Uh, complete. Uh. Need to deal with that over there. And we're still doing very well. So 10 armor worked well, but can't protect us fully. So we now need to deal with these guys. They come to their doom. More warp gates are opening. I like the mechanic here. It's, it's a good mechanic. Good. You're purified and you're back in action. Gratitude. 
standing ready. Let's hope this pushes them to the side and not back. It does. Fantastic. I must rearm. Standing ready. Engaging. That would cost a lot of will points. Not sure if I like that idea. We could go in. Yes, Commander. The other option is a Hailer Skull. And I think that's the better option. That's a fantastic option. Keeps them busy for this round, yeah. so we're ready to do something completely different. Such as teleporting over here. And pushing this. That's direct damage. <laughs> Nicely bypassed the arm yes, one. And thanks to our armor bypassing strike, Justice. that's a lot of damage. Ranged weapon needs to go. This guy is uh, sort of helpless because uh, all he can do now is attack in melee. We have three armor. Unleash me. How much does that deal? Seven points of damage and knockbacks. get will points over here if we need them Although it is good for useful. It will allow us to do this here. And support the other flank. Good. There is one guy somewhere there. But we are already for the next warp gate. We have such a good team. I sense the enemy convergent. Good, melee, melee, these guys are not really a massive threat to us, huh? 
This here could be a threat. Good, but it's mealy, mealy, mealy. No, no, no. No, that's not a problem. What is your will? Hmm. What is your will? Hmm. How do we do this? I want to kill uh, them this turn. Praise the Emperor. Could move up, just try to hit him. I couldn't move all the way over there. It's a bit mutually exclusive. We could definitely teleport to here and hit him twice. We have so much armor that I don't think there is going to be any problem with uh, facing him head on. Good, that's a hit and Fire kill. I defy your comments. Firing on target. Another hit and support fire. I am here to serve. Oh, barely out of range. Interesting. My blade is ever ready. Picking up seats and getting a willpower. Ready to serve. Uh, I think that's okay. Put four strike to get him down further. Sure, why not? Face me. Out of ranged weapons. I am his. And that <clears throat> basically so gives dead. a will point over to our Justy Car. We're moving into full cover. And I think a reload is in order. <clears throat> so far we're holding this here very, very well. I haven't seen a single enemy even coming close to us. is near complete hold them back just a bit longer brother knights just a bit longer and we've won okay yeah sure it's not a problem we're making it sound like things are <clears throat> on the edge at the moment uh, that is not the case we are actually doing very well for ourselves Yeah. Um. 
These guys on, only deal minor damage, right? Yeah, one point of damage, okay. It's not even worth considering at this stage. Time to completely clean out this guy. Oh, he doesn't take damage uh, from autos. I see how it is. Yes, Commander. Well, how about a few friendly slaps on the wrist, huh? That guy definitely has a lot of armor going for him. Praise the Emperor. Good hit. Good, nice little reload here. Blessed are our arms. I am here to serve. There we go. We are the hammer. Thing almost down. I think down to a few hit points. Good enough for us to smite <laughs> and kill. Moves to here. And how about we're giving ourselves a little bit more armor? Let these enemies come in, try to hit us. One unbreakable shield against the coming darkness. Hey, Hector. Oh, we're already done. I still had my crit gem and a couple of other things. Well, the real MVP here was five rounds of three armor. That was absolutely disgusting. Really good. Domination isn't as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, 
We got a good um, amount of seeds here. We're definitely going to take the chaplain. And what are we missing? Crack grenade, armor break. Five, that is nice. Yeah, this here isn't that good. Um, it, it's nice, it deals a lot of damage and it deals crit damage against organic targets. Titan's Vengeance. Oh, that weapon is good. I want the weapon. Give it. Give weapon. Fluffy here did a fabulous job. Really appreciate how well they worked. But interceptors always do a fabulous job, it feels like. And we're finally at the price of power and we got our uh, Psychic Shriek, which I think shouldn't be slapped on either. At the moment it's too willpower for two stun. But that's not that great but next level we're going to have three willpower for five stun and that dear friends looks a bit different i think that's an excellent ability uh, the other question then is what are we going to do with the rest of the points given that we have this ultra nice bolter uh, that uh, kills uh, individual targets I'm almost inclined to go to here because that would be sick crit damage and we can even pierce, always pierce armor. So that is one, two levels. The return fire I don't think will be that often, but it's nice. I would skill it if I had a point left over. But we're at level six. There's a seven, eight, nine. It's not bad, it's not bad. I think this here uh, could work very well. The other option is we're going into Vortex of Doom. Six damage over an area, not to be scuffed at. And there's even more damage, eight damage over an, uh, over an area of three. And plus one uh, will point and we're disabling ranged. <laughs> that is pretty good for mechanical targets. Yeah, I think this is also ultra strong. And finally, we got this. More charges. Now, I like, well, the endurance thing is okay. I think this one here uh, is what really uh, is, is a great auto because it'll allow us to ourselves get warp speed. Chance isn't that high. But if we were to wear the chart, uh, it would become much, much higher. If we were to wear the char uh, chart, uh, that would be a 65% chance. Do we have other good autos that are regularly proking? Yes, this here could be a 100% chance so that the action is for free. We're level six, I think we're going to go up here. The stun route isn't bad either. Alternatively, we could uh, go into melee crit damage ourselves. 
because plus three melee crit is noticeable. The bleed isn't that great, but this here is free AP. So it's not bad. I, I could see that that is actually a valid strategy as well. If you're not going into down the stun route, maybe we're going, uh, we're trying it. I wanted to try slightly different builds to see if that would work. We got enough servitors and we can't upgrade a level three. I think this here is a good upgrade. More experience is helpful. Couldn't even reach that, let alone that. Well, not cool. At least we saved the planet, but I think we'll have another situation with another planet very soon. Up here. Ventrix. Yeah, I wish we could just fly there and basically say, yep, we're going to do a mission. Got ourselves plus one stratagem slot. Time to upgrade the stratagem use. I like the five turns thing. Anything that lasts multiple turns is good. For instance, here, the 100% resistance. All right, so, get another stratagem use, that would be great. I'm a bit disappointed. Three turns of domination, don't get me wrong, it, it's good. It is still fine because you can take out an enemy, but it is not the end all above all that I thought it uh, would be. It's still potentially fine. What are the others? We did not have Fall Knights, but I can see that that could be good. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, it's definitely better than this for kind of harder missions where you don't have a healer. Yeah, it depends. If the multiple stratagem uses stack, then this here would be fine. Because all of a sudden you can knock back um, three times. But then again, heal would also be fine. It would make everything better. All of a sudden we can teleport thrice. Oh, that would be really good. We could use Strength of the Spirit uh, thrice. This would become even better because you would have essentially permanent uh, five armor. I think this here is underrated. Purifying everyone and then 100% resistance. That's pretty good. Purge 100% might be good in the right uh, in the right options. This here is definitely good three stun to all visible enemies. Uh, with a kind of stun setup team, uh, that would just be very, very, very nice. Uh, we're just going to uh, research uh, this year next, so go all the way down here. Um, and by thinking about it, now that we think about it, if you can use it multiple times, Three times three willpower for all of the knights. Mm. That's not bad. Uh, that might be even stronger because in the end game our knights do have a lot of willpower. And just filling up say 20 odd uh, willpower for the librarian. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 
I could see this here being good in some of uh, the instances as well if you just don't want to deal with warp search at all. Uh, slam that in and just do the mission without warp search. Uh, it's not bad, but since warp search is giving us willpower, I did not feel that that automatically was the first priority. Good, we now got a chaplain. Ooh, damn, he looks dope. Oh, yeah. Let me see what the abilities are. You know what? We go through it uh, together, because why not? So, um, he can only equip Terminator armor. That, by definition, is good. Um, gets plus one armor. Cool, that's good. Then we got Litany of Hate. Each additional knight who executes an enemy game... Wait. Okay. So you can do that three times. Okay. Listen, that may... Oh, wow, that's strong. So all of a sudden, a any execute gives you two AP for everyone. That's really good. I would have skilled it exactly like that. Okay, then over here we do have um, each knight gets 25% crit for ranged attacks. That's interesting. Can, can you have multiple litanies? Can you only have one? Hmm, I don't know. Um, words of power, that's a litany. This is a litany and this is a litany. Um, okay, so words of power, uh, more crit damage, plus three. And then over here we do have massive crit chance for ranged attacks. So maybe he's really a good um, chat for our range team to support in but this here is great i can uh, i could see stun into just execution only problem is uh, the enemies that are not stunnable okay well that's that's already a strong start good then we got provoke that's fine um, i would say nothing to really be too excited about because you have the Hela skulls and I feel that they are almost doing the job better. Then over here we got the Emperor's Will. Uh, targets a knight in range to gain, uh, to push over willpower. Costs the willpower and gives willpower. Uh, then doesn't cost AP at some point. Hmm. Not a bad ability. I think this plus the AP cost uh, thing is uh, good enough. That is actually very good. And then we got 30% uh, resistance litany and war gear slot. War gears are always good. Up here we got another litany. Uh, each knight has a chance to gain one willpower after using a warp ability. Ooh, okay. And upgrades focus for that chance. So essentially we can upgrade that in order to trigger 30-50% of the time. With focus 75% of the time. That's not bad at all. That, yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Because that'll solve your willpower needs. And each uh, knight... Uh, gain, uh, gains plus three armor on the Aegis shields. Plus, uh, when we crit, we can get uh, AP back. Okay, so this seems to be a, a full fledged uh, passive aura support character. What stood out for me is definitely the Litany of Hate down here. And we already went into range crit attacks. Uh, fair. Might as well just fully fill that out. 
that's okay. Then the other things that uh, worked well for me was this here, the focus. Because Warp Charge, Psy Bolt, Force Strike and Invocation of Focus. Oh, okay. Uh, he uh, It is limited to, uh, to a couple of invocations, not to everything. I see, I see. Well, but it essentially with that invocation it makes it free. So I think what I am going to do is that um, Willpower Transfer looks great. Extra equipment slot looks great as well. So we're going to go into that and I think that's pretty much it for the start. Um, because here we got resistances, here we got uh, stun, here we got uh, ranged crit. That seems uh, quite good. And... Here we would have three additional armor on our Aegis, which I think is also a very, very nice litany. The resistance one I like as well, because there are no easy ways of gaining that much resistance for every single character. And this guy is running around the Terminator armor. Okay, cool. So chaplains are good as well. I like how you get your how you're secretly unlocking all of the classes. I think the last one uh, that I know of was Paladin. So far we had Librarian, uh, Purifier and uh, Chaplain. And now we're just missing a Paladin. Now we're just missing a Paladin. Okay, let's advance the time a little bit. Bloom activity. We got like what up here? Um, purifier, don't need that. Requisition. And what do we have over here? Grimoire is not bad. Another chaplain. Hmm. But I hate using no willpower on missions. That's the whole fun. Uh, we, we need to go uh, to here likely anyways. Uh, what do we have? Justicar. And pretty decent. Without crafted armor, we can do. Servitors is what we need. Level 3 Terminator armor. Might be a good armor there. Might be a good armor there. And up here, requisition is always good. Good armor. Uh, tip top grenade isn't bad. I like that. 10 days. So, say if I was to go to here, that would not allow me to go back to here. Yeah, it is just one mission uh, really that we can do. And therefore, we're going to here. Alert! Prognosticars report emergence of multiple stellar warp surges across the sector. Coordinates have been updated on the star map. Current data is insufficient to perform a proper analysis. Warp storms of this magnitude are not unprecedented. But the evolving bloom phenomenon is 77.9% likely to be a significant contributing factor. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a lot of warp storms before, so I'm not entirely shocked by that development. Nice. Corruption level. Blow drone. Ah, Beast of Nurgle. I like this one. Plague ridden. Okay. Lots of damage that we will need. And we cannot take Master Crafted Armor. We're exactly at day 500, by the way. Fabulous. Uh, in terms of barracks, 
Just double checking. Uh, we can only get the standard classes here, it seems. Got one reserve for Paladin and one for another Librarian because I like Librarians and I would want to have a second one. <clears throat> they are really good. Um, in terms of in terms of class combo I'm not a hundred percent sure if we are sticking with another purgator here I like the double a double purgator combination don't get me wrong I like that idea but I also like the idea of testing out uh, the new classes um, but then again, we only had one purgator uh, so far and having like a double range setup. I think I, I do have two additional um, classes or class builds in mind. One uh, where we have all the new, uh, um, new unlocked classes or whatever we want to call that. So that would be paladin plus chaplain plus uh, librarian plus the purifier and just see how things are uh, how things are going with that type of uh, setup uh, more into warp storm with a li uh, librarian um, purifier for a lot of grenades and uh, so on and then the chaplain uh, for kind of a bit of stun let's hope that the paladin can help with stun because i really want to work around stun and then the purifier could use stun grenades and um, maybe we can uh, make that work. So that that would be I would call it the stun uh, team. Not sure if if it's good, but I would like to give it a try. Um, and then the other team that I would love to work around is Purgator and Purgator. We already have a Justy Car here, so I think we're going to use him as the tank uh, in in that setup. And I'm wondering what would fit uh, that. Uh, that uh, setup. Since I don't have enough slots, maybe we just need to uh, upgrade the barracks one more time. But into that setup, I think what I've just seen from the chaplain with uh, his kind of ranged uh, support, that could be a nice little combination as well. Double purgy um, into, into that uh, chaplain so that we're j really just trying to put uh, mm, uh, to 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 kill everything uh, from afar um, so that's one option the other option if we're having purgator purgator and justicar um, would be to support them with something else uh, that is maybe a bit mobile so i could also see um, the justicar in in this case would be going into Psy Cannon, uh, which we haven't had uh, the ability yet. So that would be a full ranged uh, team. That's actually a good idea. So a full range team, Justicar, Purgator, Purgator, really uh, far range. And these guys do have support fire as well, at least one of them uh, does. So then I am wondering if we had an interceptor there, who's who is not melee, hear me out. It's completely ranged support here. What do we have here? Oh, Silence. That I, I might be onto something here. I might be onto something here, like a full range team, right? Yeah, getting another interceptor, just the car in two uh, purgators. Then we do have uh, support fire, support fire, and maybe one of the purgators could actually take this. Yeah, I've even skilled him down here uh, because they they need to be the silencer discipline to uh, to have uh, support fire 
And also I don't want to get only uh, Psy Lancers. We do have one really good Psychic, um, uh, what is called Psy Cannon. So I would like to take one of them and then uh, two Psy Lancers. Yeah, I need to think about it. Uh, it depends also what kind of classes we're uh, getting. So that setup I could definitely see with a ranged focused chaplain um, on top of uh, that with this discipline here. Uh, that would be dope. Very, very dope. And yeah, essentially we would kill everything from afar. But I also like the idea of an Interceptor because I haven't really skilled them into Psychic Suppression uh, so far. So we would have with Psychic Suppression we would have Silence. Uh, with the Light of the Emperor we would have Blind. Uh, zone Suppression makes everybody more vulnerable. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, removing cover. And guess what? Uh, the Psy Cannon can do exactly that. So. Yeah, potentially just a card, double, um, double, uh, Purgator and, um, then an Interceptor would be a nice team. It's a very aggressive team, kind of a pure range team. But it seems good uh, to me for now. Anyways, I digressed. So we want to win it without Mastercrafted Armor. Let's just uh, take out the armor. Wow, we need more. Uh, we need more of those purple uh, seats. They seem to be the rare ones. Good. Yep, that would give us three, which is totally fine. And in terms of Waspinata, our Purgator, this is our nice little Psy Cannon. Might as well upgrade it now. So that's a good weapon. That is a very good weapon. Eight points of damage. The one thing that you will need is extra ammunition because uh, he will need to skill uh, that extra ammo here as well. Yeah, well, that's mandatory in uh, with that particular weapon. Uh, but yeah, we're we're going to be fine very fine with uh, mm, uh, with uh, that overall build already looking forward for that range team but we need to have a bit a few more pieces to, uh, to fall in place i'm also looking forward for that stun team uh, that uh, seems like a great option as well the one thing that i want uh, wish they would do is offer you a little bit more kind of squad building uh, options just like uh, the um, long war mechanic where you are defining squads uh, and then you are deploying them as a unit but whatever that's all i had for today guys thanks a lot and uh, see you in the next episode bye bye